What's up you guys, Cobrinha, Kennedy, today we'll be teaching Spider Guard, but we can't teach Spider Guard without mention Michael Lang's name, who is known by using the Spider Guard to become one of the best lightweight of all times. Also, he was nominated one of the best guard of all times. Without further ado, let's get started. Before we start doing the spider guard, let's break down the drills. The first drill we're going to do is grabbing the sleeves, getting the feet on my partner's hips. One foot at a time on the hips first. We go one, two. And I scooped my hips underneath of Kenneth's body. Hips kept to one side, getting my foot on Kenneth's biceps. If you notice, I'm trying to make a space. If I try to get my foot on Kenneth's biceps, the way I'm trying to do right now here, don't let it, Kennedy, it's hard for me to do it. That's the reason why I have to hip skate to the side, get the foot on Kenneth's biceps, the way I'm doing so. It's a lot of pressure on his biceps right now. Now what I'll do, I push his biceps, his arm down, square off my hips with Kenneth's hips, then I'll be able now to get the other foot on his biceps as well. Once you get here, if I stay square with Kennedy, it's not bad, but also it's not what I want for now. I want to practice the drill side to side. I'm going to lift my hips up and get to one side. Now, I have to use my foot on Kennedy's biceps to help me to lift my hips off the mat and keep my hips mobile the way I'm doing so right now. I lift my hips up and switch sides. Lift my hips up and switch sides. The next one we're going to do is I need to break Kenny's grip off my pants leg. Now I'm going to break the grip of my pant leg and back again, foot on the biceps. Lift my hips, switch the other side, break the grip off my pant leg, foot goes to the biceps. Lift my hips up and I'm going to do once again. Break the grip of my pant leg, foot goes to biceps, move my hips to the other side, break the grip of my pant leg, foot goes to biceps, and we stop right here for now. The next drill we're going to do is, I'm going to lift my hips up, get the angle. Once I get the angle, I'm trying to set up here the swip, the spider guard to the scissor swip. But Kennedy also, can counter my position. And Ken is going to counter by taking his left knee off the mat. When he does that, if you notice for this angle, Ken is going to put a lot of pressure to bend my leg, the way Ken is doing so, and he's going to circle his right hand and grab on my shin. And Kennedy is going to break my grip. When Ken breaks my grip, now I don't have the spider guard anymore. To re-counter the position, we're going to use this drill. I move to the side, Ken's going to take the knee off the mat. 
when he does that, immediately I lift my hips up. And now if you notice that Ken is off balance to this side over here, if he stays there, I might just use the spider guard and I'll be able to sweep Kennedy to the side. I was here. When I switch, most likely, Ken is going to switch as well. His knee off the mat. And that's the reason why we need to practice this drill as well. And Ken is coming with the knee. I lift my hips up, switch to the other side. See that if Kennedy will switch to the other side. And I lift my hips up again on the other side. And Kennedy, once again, is going to get to the combat base with the knee in between my legs. Now, we're going to see how we are going to use the spider guard to the scissor sweep when our partner has his knees on the mat. One of the mistakes we make when we're playing spider guard is when I grab my partner's sleeves, instead of getting my feet on Kennedy's hips, I get excited and I want to get my feet on his biceps. And let's see what Ken is going to do as I do that, as I make this mistake. Bullfighter pass. Once again, mistake again. My feet are going straight to Ken's biceps. He won't let it. Okay? The correct way to do it is get one foot at a time on the hips. One. Right there on Kenny's hips. Now he won't be able to do the bullfighter pass because I'm holding his sleeves. Now I scoop my hips underneath of Kenny's upper body and I get the other foot on his hips as well. Now I can pit stop over here. I can take my time and think what I'm going to do next. Since we're playing spider guard, I'm going to hip scape to the side and get my foot on Kenny's biceps. Once I do that, I'm going to square off my hips with Kenny's hips, and I'm going to get the other foot on Kenny's biceps. Cobrinha, is it wrong to keep square off with your partner when you're playing spider guard? No. But if I want to set up Kennedy for something, I want to pick one side, and that's what I'm going to do right now here. Yeah. So I want to sweep Kennedy with the spider guard and scissor sweep. Look what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn my hips to one side, use the drill we did today, break his grip off my pant leg. Once I do that, I'm going to use my left leg as a pendulum there. But simultaneously, I'm going to come up on my elbow. I'm going to use this momentum. I break the grip, use the momentum. Now, my toe will be pointing this way. There. Lifting up, lifting up. And if you notice that, Kennedy, it's off balance already to his right side. Once I do that, I'm going to scissor the bottom leg. Simultaneously, I'm going to look over my left shoulder and pull his slip to me. And keep pushing with my right foot on Kennedy's biceps. Once I do that, I release my foot off his biceps, come up and establish the mount position by putting my hands on the mat or also I can insert the hooks as well just to control the position first. Now we're going to do exactly the same as we did before in the previous lesson, but now Ken is going to take his knee off the mat. When he takes his knee off the mat, most people call the combat base. Let's see what we can do to do the spider guard to the scissor sweep. We know how to get to the spider guard. Now let's set up, get our setups to do the spider guard to the scissor sweep. I'm going to pick one side. As I pick one side, I'm waiting to see what Ken is going to do. Ken is going to take his left knee off the mat. That is, if Ken takes his left knee off the mat, what I'm going to do, I'm going to break the grip, use my left leg as a momentum, as I do that, if you notice that, I'm pulling Kennedy's arm, left arm up with my right foot. And I'm coming up on my elbow, my left elbow. Simultaneously, I'm going to scissor his right leg with my left leg, and I'm going to look over my left shoulder. Now I take my foot off his biceps, go straight to the mount position, and if I want to establish the mount position, I insert the hooks, and we're going to stop here for now.
We're playing Spider Guard. Now let's see what Ken is going to do with his knee. Remembering, he can take his left knee off the mat or he can take his right knee off the mat. So I have to be aware which knee Ken is taking off the mat. And I'm going to show you the Spider Guard Scissor Sweep works when Ken takes his left knee off the mat or when he can take his right knee off the mat. Let's take a look on it. I'm going to pick one side to see what Ken is going to do. I need to read Kennedy. I need to see what he's going to do, how he's going to deal with the spider guard before we do the spider guard to the scissor sweep. I'm going to pick one side and I'm waiting for Kennedy. There it is. When Kennedy take his right knee off the mat, immediately before he frees, his hand, his uh, left hand, I'm going to break the grip of my pent leg simultaneously. I'm going to come up with my elbow and chop right on Kenny's heel and simultaneously push his arm towards his head. There. And I'll be able to hit the spider guard to the scissor whip. But why don't we do that? Because that like sometimes is in between. Uh, get the knee right there, Kennedy. So the Kennedy's right knee was there. Yeah, when I was sweeping. Sometimes this can happen. Yeah. So what I need to do? I need to bring my foot back, break the grip, and come up with the knee slice. If Kennedy tries to get to the one leg X before he gets there, because his leg was there already, in between my legs, and he was grabbing my pant leg. I pull right the leg first, break the grip, and I keep holding his sleeves until I can drop my knee all the way to the floor, and we have the path to do the knee slice as well. Let's check it out in the first one. Fast forward, I pick one side. My partner take his left knee off the mat, break the grip, use my leg as a pendulum, there it is. It comes straight to the mouth position. Fast forward once again, I get my hips to the side, my part take his right knee off the mat. I break the grip, use my leg as a pendulum. Kenny's gonna try to get the to one leg X. I bring my foot, bring my heel towards my butt, break the grip, and land with the knee slice. I hope you guys enjoy watching us teaching you one of Michael's favorite sweep, which was the spider guard to the scissor sweep. If Michael Lung took his game to the next level, I am sure that you who are watching us can take your game to the next level if you practice the foundation we taught you today. If you have subscribed to our YouTube channel, please subscribe. Don't forget to hit the bell below because if you don't do that, the YouTube doesn't send you a notification when we upload a new videos to our YouTube channel. Am I right, Kennedy? Correct, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and don't forget to hit the bell below. That's right, and I'll see you guys soon. Peace.